Hey guys, this is Vinay from excelchamp.net. Today, I want to show you a simple tip on how to add numbers. This tip can be very useful if you have a spreadsheet um, full of numbers and you want to add them up. So, um, I normally assume that most of you will be knowing this trick, but recently a colleague approached me. He wanted some help in getting the numbers added quickly and I realized the way he was adding was to use the calculator sitting next to him. My colleague will be adding all the numbers on the calculator, adding them one by one and then typing the answer manually here. So uh, it is okay for five or ten numbers but if you have 100, 200 or 1000 or even more numbers then it does not make sense to do. So there are two ways to add the numbers. Let me show them to you. So what we can write is we can write the equal to and then add all the numbers one by one C2 plus C3 plus C4 plus C5 plus C6 and plus C7. So this is the manual way and it is pretty long. So what is a better way equal to sum and then we just select all the numbers and we close the bracket and press enter. So the same amount 33364 has appeared here. This is way much simpler and you do not even have to do all this. There is even a faster method in all the versions of Excel. So all you need to do come here at the place where you want the total and go higher up in the menu bar. I am on home and you look for the sigma notation auto sum. Simply click on it and it will build exactly the formula that we wanted. So you simply press enter and the answer is received. Similarly for the cost, you can see this easy technique. I don't have to do anything. I simply come here, auto sum, enter and my job is done. So no need to manually add the numbers one by one. But I want to tell you one thing that you need to be careful about. So let me clear this. Let us say we have a blank row in the middle. So I will add a blank row, insert entire row. So sometimes what happens is we might have a name like Sally and she has sold pens but the sales amount is not available and the cost is also not available. Sally has not given us the detail but when we come to total and you click on the auto sum you notice it only picks this data which is just above and misses out on this. So this can give you a problem. So in this case you will have to be careful that you select it manually. This is why Excel does not complete the formula. It waits for you to confirm. So always do that. And now the same thing, auto sum. It does not pick correctly. So I can also change here. D4 should be D2. So if I come in here and change this to D2, it will also go up and pick the data. So all these multiple ways can help you and like this we can collect the data. So this is a simple tip that I hope will help you quickly add numbers, summarize them and uh, make sure that you use this simple shortcut rather than doing things manually. That's it from me guys. All the best. Do subscribe to our channel and click the like button. Also click on the bell icon so that you are notified of new videos as I release them. Thank you. All the best.